Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We receive her gift of the brown scapular. May this devotion strengthen our ties as our spiritual family. May the scapular teach us how to become a synodal church, a church that is truly a family. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession 
of the glorious Virgin Mary, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence, all, in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. O blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceits. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich He has sent away empty. O Blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. He has come to the help of His servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. O blessed Virgin Mary, you carried the Son of the Eternal Father. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
while Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I would like to thank all of you for coming this morning to celebrate this feast day mass of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Hindi po ganito kadami ang tao sa ordinaryong Sabado sa Manila Cathedral. And I am very happy to see many of you who are here proof enough how we love Our Lady. And we are also very blessed this morning that as we celebrate today's feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we have in front of us the Vicaria image coming from the Minor Basilica of San Sebastian. The Minor Basilica of San Sebastian is the home of the oldest image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in the country. And it is also where the devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel started. So we thank the Augustinian Recollect Fathers. Sabi nila sa akin kahapon nung isang pari na Recoleto, Father, this image, parang first time yata namin ipapahiram ng overnight hanggang Sunday. Kaya yung matandang pari namin doon ay namimiss niya yan dahil dyan siya nagdadasal sa kapilya. So let us take care of the image of Our Lady. My dear brothers and sisters, I am sure many of us here are devotees of Our Lady, particularly the gift of her brown scapular. But what is unique in the devotion of the brown scapular? Siguro po alam ng marami sa inyo ito that when we use the brown scapular, we do not just wear it, we do not just pray with it, but the scapular is imposed on us and we are enrolled into the family of Carmel. We enter a family when we wear a scapular, it is a reminder to us that we are part of this spiritual family. Kapag ka isinuot po natin ng escapularyo, hindi lamang po ito debosyon, kundi paalala sa atin na tayo ay bahagi ng isang pamilya. And I think this is a fulfillment of Our Lady, of the wish of Her Son in our Gospel passage today, when Jesus extended His family. Jesus opened up His family. When a disciple asked Him, Lord, your mother, your brothers, your sisters are here. But Jesus opened his family. He said, whoever 
does the will of the Father, I will also call him my brother, my sister, my mother. Jesus then opened up his family. And this is fulfilled in the scapular of Our Lady, a reminder to us that we have entered into the family of God, that we are part of the family of Jesus. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the one who wears a scapular is a part of a family, and we are also open to anyone who needs a family. Ang isang tao na nakasuot ng eskapularyo ay pinapaalalahanan ng mahal na ina. Bahagi ka ng pamilya ng Diyos. At kapag suot mo ang eskapularyo na yan, pinapaalala rin sa atin, bukas tayo sa sino man na nangangailangan ng isang pamilya. Isn't that synodality? Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has been talking about synodality in the church and the dream of God for the church to become a synodal church. Our Lady of Mount Carmel teaches us today and the brown scapular teaches us about synodality. That synodality is becoming a part of the family and it is becoming open to anyone who needs a family. And so let us ask ourselves today, as devotees of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, as part of the Carmel family wearing the brown scapular, and let us also ask ourselves as a church, are we truly a family? Let me share to you this uh, one story that I had with um, a certain family, a friend who came from a parish. Their daughter got pregnant out of wedlock, out of marriage. And they transferred to another parish. And so I asked them, Bakit ho lumipat kayo ng parokya? Alam nyo yung sagot sa akin? Father, alam mo naman sa simbahan, pagchichismis ang kami dyan. These are active members of the church. And at the moment when they needed the church as a family, they realized the church has not become a family to them. Are we truly a synodal church? Are we truly a family in the church? Or have we become not a den of thieves, but a den of gossipers? Kaya ang iba, takot sa simbahan. Bakit? Nakupugad na yan ng mga chismoso at chismosa. People are afraid. At the moment when they need a family, they cannot find a family in the church. And so, let the brown scapular teach us today. When you wear the scapular and the scapular is imposed on you, you are enrolled into the family, the spiritual family of Carmel. 
Let this teach us how to become truly a family in the church. Let the brown scapular fulfill also for us the dream of God in our first reading today when God said, Many nations will join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be my people, and I will dwell among you. Ang tinatawag ng Diyos sa unang pagbasa ay hindi lang iilan. Bukas ang Diyos sa lahat ng bansa sapagkat ang Diyos ay binuksan ang kanyang pamilya para sa lahat. Let the brown scapular of Our Lady teach us today synodality. And that the one who wears the scapular be reminded that all of us are members of a family and that we need to be open to anyone who needs a family. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray to God the Father as we honor Mary, our Lady of Mount Carmel. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that we may share Mary's faith with the world and follow God's will with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the Holy Spirit may overshadow the church, filling it with obedience and faith and fruitfulness in good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that as Mary's body become the dwelling place of the Word, may we honor our own bodies as temple of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that we may devote our lives to the study and contemplation of God's Word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may hear your word in faith and fulfill it in our lives. Give us hearts that are joyful and obedient to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few moments. Again, our thanks, our gratitude to all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist on the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We would also like to thank again the Augustinian Recollect Fathers for allowing the Vicaria image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel from the Minor Basilica of San Sebastian to stay with us here until tomorrow, Sunday. We would also like to greet the Carmelite family, the Carmelite fathers, brothers, and sisters as they celebrate today the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Before the Mass ends, we will be having the blessing of the scapulars, and I will also recite the formula of imposition once, and uh, after the celebration of the Mass, we may fall in line orderly in the middle so that we could have the imposition of the scapulars to all of you. Please all stand. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. O God, author and perfection of holiness, who call those who were born of water and the Holy Spirit to the fullness of the Christian life, look with kindness on those who are about to receive devoutly the scapular of Carmel which they will wear faithfully as the sign of their commitment to the Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. Grant that in surrendering to the love of the most tender Virgin, they may conform themselves to the image of Jesus Christ, your Son, and having run the course of this life happily, may they enter into the joy of your house. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Receive this scapular full of faith in the love of such a great mother, dedicate yourself to imitating her and to a special relationship with her. Wear this sign as a reminder of the presence of Mary in your daily commitment to be clothed in Jesus Christ and to manifest Him in your life for the good of the Church and the whole of humanity and to the glory of the Most Blessed Trinity. Amen. Having received the scapular, you have been received into the family of Carmel, consecrated in a special way to the imitation and service of the Virgin Mother of God, that you may live for Christ and His Church in the contemplative and apostolic spirit of the Order of Carmel and that you may be able to follow this ideal perfectly by the faculties entrusted to me, I admit you to participate in all the spiritual benefits of the Order of Carmel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilikha Ipinagling walang sana Pusong nalisay nakila Maria, ina ng awan